Kroger brand has you covered with quality items at low prices so you can save big on everyday faves like creamy peanut butter, ready to heat pizza, and so much more. Save on proven quality every time you shop. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Now at Hardy's, two hand breaded chicken tender wraps are only $5. Choose your favorite flavors for endless combinations. Two wraps, just $5. Hardee's, goodness in the making. Get exclusive offers on the Hardee's app.
shit. Play rock, paper, scissors. Don't scream, all right? What? Ah! Hello, hello. Goom goom. I hope you're all doing well. Um, my model is broken right now, so please uh, bear with me. <laughs> but hello, Froge, congrats on first. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for your daily fish. Hello, River. Congrats on early crew. I hope you're doing well. Thank y'all for fishing and contributing to the Ha Yi stream. River, thank you for your daily fish. Froge, it's okay if you click the wrong thing twice. It's okay. River, thank you for fishing. Thank you for daily taxes. Uh, Phoenix, congrats on early crew. I hope you're doing well. Hello. Thank you for contributing to Hawaii stream. Nikki, hello. Thank you for the quiet hello. I hope you're doing well. Make sure you stay hydrated and take care of yourself. Hello, hello. Hi, Calamity. Thank you for your daily fish. I hope you're doing well. 
Uh, there are still a couple of, a couple of early crews left if y'all want to uh, fight over those. Okay, I don't know what I need to do to fix my fucking model. Because I opened it. I should have done this earlier, but I didn't think it would be a problem. I opened it. Here, I'll open it again. I opened it and I'm just legs. Unless it fixed itself. Yeah, I'm legs. And I can't get it to, uh... <laughs> drag. <laughs> so I just... I'm just... Leg. <laughs> I don't- I don't know what happened to me. Free feet, I can't even give you the feet. This is all I can do. And it won't- it's like- it's like my camera is not moving. With it, which is weird. So I'm wondering- I'm gonna cover the camera. And I'm gonna turn off the camera on my flesh tuber scenes. And see if maybe that helps. So <laughs> I'm gonna cover the camera because I am not camera ready. But I'm gonna see if that helps. Say hello to the octopus. I don't know if this will help, but I'm gonna see. Oops. Oops. Alright. Me leggies. Yo ho. Stumbly, congrats on early crew. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> Free thighs. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. I don't know. My model broken. Yeah, my VTuber is still on break. I might have to go back to my PNG tuber if I can't fix it. Virtual Enigma thighs. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, for this thigh content. <laughs> stream. Hello, Soju. Hello, Jinx. I hope y'all are doing well. <laughs> It's a leg O stream. Stop. That's so funny. Stop. That's so funny. I do have bloomers on. Um, apparently, yeah. I forgot that this model does have legs. <laughs> but like, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. This shit's fucking broken. And then I like, I go to to reload. And it just is still legs. The little hand poking out in the sleeve. I know. That's actually quite literally what I look like right now. I have on... I have on a hoodie. That's what I look like when I wear hoodies, so... Um, it's very accurate. I usually have sweater paws. No, scaling won't help because... I literally can't, like, move the model at all. Like, I can't drag the model back to where it was. Knowing that you aren't just a torso is kind of a jump scare. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And one of the preset models? I guess I could try that. What happens with this cat? Oh my god, I'm a cat! But see, it's like, it's not registering my- Oh, this cat's cute. It's not like registering my... Camera or like my microphone. And I- I went back in while we were on starting soon and I refreshed the client so I know- It says that it's connected to my camera. So I'm not sure what the fuck. 
<laughs> I'm not sure what the fuck is going on. About this cat. Turn it off and on. I know that's what I did. I did it twice. Actually, three times I restarted it and I'm not sure why. It's like not working. <gasps> Look at this dog! Wait, this dog's cute. The whole PC? No, I didn't restart the whole PC because... Um... I was live already. <laughs> the dog in the cup is cute. Refresh the camera. Okay, I'll refresh the camera. I'm gonna go back to my legs. Uh, refresh camera. How do I refresh the camera? Oh, okay, camera. Camera off. Camera on. See, it's like saying it's not even calibrating it. Cafe dog. <laughs> the wiggle wiggle. It's, it is Final Fantasy Friday and also Free Leg Friday. Okay, I will, I'll try and force close it again. That's what I did last time and it didn't seem to help, but I'll try and force close it again in Task Manager. I've never had an issue with the VTube Studio. So this is very stinky. A reboot? I don't want to have to reboot. TBH. I would just rather plop on a PNG. So I don't have to restart. Hmm. I am leg. Am leg. I don't understand. The only thing that changed is that I used the camera on OBS. For a while. I reconnected my account. <laughs> Thank you for- <laughs> Not the Shingeki no cafe. <laughs> Thank you for the clip. Reconnect VTube Studio into oh maybe well no because it's um it's the VTube Studio in general. It's not the connection to OBS. It's the VTube Studio itself. That's not working. Hello, Luden. Thank you for your daily fish and congrats on early crew. I don't understand. This is so... This is so silly. I can't even, like, I can't even drag it like it says I can. So I'm not really sure. <laughs> I'm not really sure what the fuck it happened. Reboot the VTube. That's what I just did. I've tried rebooting it, like, four times. Yeah. Like three or four times I've rebooted it and it's not working. I am uh, so confused because using my face cam shouldn't have like broken VTube Studio. Logically, like it shouldn't have done anything. The reboot scoot and boogie I haven't. I don't want to have to restart. I don't want to have to restart my computer. Do a little dance? Do you think if I stand up with these legs that it'll, it'll let me dance? Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand up and see if it recognizes my legs. There's no leg recognition. No legs. I'm moving my legs and no legs. <laughs> it 
think my VTuber just wants to, to T-post. <laughs> oh, fuck, that's honestly so funny. Oh no, I have to sacrifice the Hello Kitty head. Sorry, HK. <laughs> fuck, dude. All right. I don't think there's anything else I can. All right, hold on. I'm gonna turn it off on here and try and mess with these settings real quick. Okay. Hmm. It's so weird. Why why the fuck did it break? The goofy juice. Uh, it's okay. I like the goofy juice. I did unplug it and replug it in. It didn't seem to work either. What in turnation? Okay, I th I think I'm just. I'll just use a PNG today. And then I'll try and figure it out um, after soon because I'm off tomorrow anyway, so I'll just try and figure it out before uh, stream on Sunday. Ethereal voice enigma date? No, no model, only voice. Nah, I can at least get a PNG up here. I still have Veto Tuber or Veto Tube installed, so I can at least have a little PNG. Maybe. <laughs> oh, you used VitoTube? Yeah, I used VitoTube before I got that mo my uh, VTube model. I was using a PNG, but luckily I kept it installed just in case. Trying to sacrifice something to stop T-posing and be with us. <laughs> Not that we mind the size. <laughs> Imagine the size. That's so funny. Okay. I just have to set Vito Tube or Vito Tube back up. What if we sacrifice a mod? <gasps> no. A river. Oh my god. They hold so much power. They do. They do. That's true. You're not wrong. The mods do hold a lot of power. Okay. Um. Let's see. Where are the settings? Hi, Bruna. <laughs> uh, don't mind the fact that I am invisible. My model broke. Bruna, run. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't run. Don't run. Don't know. You leave Bruna out of this. Bruna, River was saying that we should sacrifice a mod 
to make my VTuber work again. Damn, I already started right. No, come back. <laughs> uh, come back. Bruna is technically the most powerful mod because she's been here the longest. So if we're going by like longevity. Bruna would be the most powerful. And then Meg after. <laughs> Not the ps 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 please. Y'all are so fucking funny. Hi, Fresso. Thank you so much for the quiet hello in your daily fish. I hope you're doing well. Make sure you stay hydrated. It's on portrait and not landscape. Yeah. Um. You know, I, uh. I did what I could. I'm just gonna. It's okay. It's okay. I'm just gonna use a PNG today. I just have to reset up the PNG. Um. And then I will, after stream, I'll try and fix my VTube model. I should be able to, I'll probably, I probably will have to restore my computer fully. Um, and I might have to uninstall and reinstall VTube Studio. If it's still glitched, I don't know. Hi, Nika the Stallion. Hello, hello. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for your daily fish. Um, don't mind the chaos today. My VTube model broke. <laughs> so I am, uh, <laughs> trying to... Set my PNG tube back up. <laughs> you were needing the laugh? You're welcome. I'm glad. I'm glad. Totally not urgent, but Kaibi has posted a pic for you. <gasps> Kaibi? Oh, the baby. Oh my god, Kaibi is so freaking cute. I want to pet. I want to snuggle. Oh my god. What a cutie pie. Okay, um... What's your NDI on? I saw your virtual camera's off, so that's good. Googling PNG. Sounds nice to you. Okay. Thank you for Googling, Soju. I do appreciate I do appreciate the Googling. Um, it just makes me anxious to have to try and like troubleshoot tech stuff while live. So I pro I will just uh, try and fix it later. She was scooching closer and closer, like, hey, it's me. I want to be in the brew crew. Aw, Kaibi, you are in the brew crew. You are an honorary brew crew member. Absolutely. Pa pronouns party. Yes, thank you for redeeming pronouns party. If you feel comfortable and would like to share your pronouns in chat so we can all refer to each other properly, feel free. Mine are they, them, and they're always on the screen. Thank you all for sharing your pronouns. I'm just, do we want my, my chibi? Do we want to use my little chibi as a PNG? I don't have like a, a blinking for it. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome out. Welcome out, welcome in. <laughs> Not the welcome out, am I okay? Welcome in, I hope you're doing well. I'm sorry, I'm very, uh, technical difficulties make me very flustered. Welcome out. <laughs> oh, Luden, very proud of you. Congratulations. Welcome out. <laughs> Welcome out of the closet, because if you're here, you're probably fucking gay. To some degree. Slash lighthearted. <laughs> Welcome out. It's a new way to say bye. Stop. Okay, I'm just gonna use um I'm just gonna use our little chibi. I don't have a blinking emote for it though, so it'll just be a little chibi. Should I have motion on it? I don't know. Maybe when I'm talking. Was searching on the Final Fantasy 14 tab and find your channel. It feels so welcoming and friendly. <laughs> I'm glad it feels welcoming and friendly. What I'm, <laughs> I'm having technical difficulties today, um, but I'm very glad. But welcome in, Adrian Leone. Welcome and welcome in. If I said your name, 
incorrectly, let me know. And also let me know um, what you would prefer to be referred to as. Would you like your full username? Just like part of it. Let me know. But welcome in. I hope you're doing well. Okay, now I have to... Uh, window capture, Vido tube. Oh, <laughs> you know what? We can, we can say that that's why. Huh? Why is, hello? What the fuck is this? Excuse me? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> what is going on? What is this? Ah, the cafeception. Damn. Today has me fucked up. <laughs> oh, yes, we're very silly, but we try to be very welcoming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even amid chaos, cafe and the brew crew have great vibes. I hope so. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. Just trying to trying to get me to to work. It's fine. It's totally fine. Veto tube. Oh my god. Okay. Why is the background not transparent though? Hello? I swear to god, dude. The background is not. Please. Thank you for lurking, Bruno. I told it to be transparent. I told it to be transparent. It's on the transparent setting. I made sure. Huh. <laughs> Oh, I had to change something on OBS too. Oh no. I don't remember having to do that the last time I used Vito Tube. I didn't have my mouse over it. I don't think. Maybe I did. No, I don't have my mouse over it. Properties. There we go. Jesus. Okay, well... Today is just going fantastic. Maybe I should have just stayed in bed today too. Shit. Use he, is it Vi pronouns? Vi or V? Thank you for letting us know. Also, yes, thank you, Froge, for um, using the pronouns command. If you use Google Chrome, you can set your. Um, your pronouns up with this pronouns.alejo.io website um if you're not on google chrome i don't think you can do it hopefully twitch is working on um implementing pronouns in twitch itself i think they might We'll see. I fixed it. Thank y'all for bearing with me. <laughs> I don't have blinkies. Um, 
with this little model, I don't have like an eyes closed or a mouth open ones. So I just made it bounce when I talk. And that, that'll just work for today. And then hopefully I can figure my model back out. Uh, got me stressed out today. My god. <laughs> My anxiety. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Thank you all so much for, uh, for being here and dealing with all that. I'm going to write down all these fish now. Technical difficulties got me fucked up. Thank you for the hydrate. I absolutely will hydrate. And thank you for contributing to Ha Yi's stream. Ha Yi stream. Ha Yi. Sure. Captions. Alright, scrolling up. Oh. The alarm. Oh, no scoot. Okay. Let's see. Ripperoni. Thank you all also for all of your uh your help and suggestions. I do appreciate it. No, thank you. Thank you for fishing also. Bled. Anyway, now that we have all that out of the fucking way. How is everybody doing? <laughs> I hope you're all doing well. Um... few new things a few new things um we have a few new commands we have an Amaric command a book club command a books command that i probably need to fix because if my story graph site thing did not uh show up in discord is probably the wrong link on this too crucian carp hi baby huh no i'm just uh, stream is giving me technical difficulties so now i'm all anxious But hi. Book club, book club, yes. I'm so excited about the book club. Um, hopefully it'll be a fun time. We'll try and figure out what book we're reading over the weekend or within like the next week. I'll do like some polls and we can see what we all feel up to. Oh, Saki's taking a shit. 
Oh, she's done taking the shit. Maybe she was just pissing. Ah, uh, true. I guess I'll know in a minute. Oh, that was the wrong... That was the wrong thing. <gasps> Damn, Kotsaki a dumbass. Alright, string fish. Okay, I think I'm caught up on the fish. Thank you for lurkies, froge. Oh, you finished a row of fish? That's so exciting, Soju. Imparting bookstore. <laughs> yes, it was imparting bookstore. <laughs> anyway, we have a we have an Amaric command now. <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> I thought it was very appropriate. <laughs> Barrel. I I also added a new tag, which is Feral for Americ. <laughs> to the stream itself. So you know, I'm fully, <laughs> I'm fully committed. All right. I was inspired by O. Katie. If y'all don't know O. Katie, she is a very lovely creator and has been playing through Final Fantasy for the first time. And her tags are always so fucking funny. I she had like um. I don't remember. I can't even think of the ones that she had, but she has some funny- actually, hold on, she's alive, I can see. Xenos's little ass biter, Emmett Selk's pillow princess, Emmett Selk's full-time wife, Emmett Selk lover forever. Stuff like that. So I was inspired to do a feral for Americ tag. I almost came in the stream to say I'm here for the barking, but I held my tongue. <laughs> Please. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, <laughs> we also have a books command. Which, let me see if this is fixed or not. Okay, it worked there. Is that the one I had in the books channel? Hold on. App, story graph, profile. Yeah. Okay, let me click these and see if they work. Fable worked. Story graph worked. Goodreads worked. Okay, all three of those links worked for me in the Discord as well. So I wonder if it's you have to have an account and be signed in in order to see with the story graph. I think you might have to. I'm not sure. I could be wrong. Thank you for a daily fish, babe. Oh, lava eel. I feel like you already have a lava eel. I could be wrong. Lava eel. It's working out. Yay. Okay, good. Lava eel. You don't have a lava eel. Nice. Lava eel. But yes, we have that um, for bookworm era. If anybody would like to be friends on Goodreads, The Story Graph, or Fable. We've got that command. Now, it's also, I also put them in the socials command, which will also, oh wait, no, I didn't. I lied. Um, I put them in the socials timer. I guess I forgot to put them in the command. That's embarrassing. Anyway, we also have a book, cl book club command. Um, because we're starting a book club together. We have not started a book yet. I just started the thing and made, like, the little graphic for it and stuff yesterday. 
but that'll be starting within like a week or so probably. I'm gonna fix the socials command. I also still need to work on moving all of my commands over to mix it up, but I've just not had fucking spoons, you know? You ever just not have spoons? Okay. Socials. Paste. Alright, now it's fixed. That's fine. It's fine. <laughs> All the time, I know. The fairy fountain, yeah! Fairy fountain. One of my favorite Zelda tracks. For basically the last five days off, Phoenix, I'm so sorry. Yeah, me too. I've been in a pain flare and it's not been fun. Has not been fun. Um, oh, we also have a safe words command. Um, last week during, during Flesh tuber week we were talking about making some uh safe words for the community <gasps> oh. excuse me i had to yawn um making safe words for the community and such so our community safe word is guppy or guppies which guppies if you don't know are like a very community heavy fish I wanted to stay on brand with our words, uh, <laughs> with our safe words. So guppy or guppies is the safe word. So if anyone is ever feeling uncomfortable or, um, or the conversation is too triggering or anything like that, use the word guppy or um, directly message me and I will reach out. And then... Um, I've seen a lot of creators like Orzu and other people have like a safe word for um, helping the streamer with a game because I hate backseating. I don't want unsolicited backseating ever. Um, like, let me figure things out on my own, please. But my safe word is going to be Orca for if I do need help in a game, I say... I will say Orca. So if I ever do actually need help. Welcome back, Bruna. Yes, feel free to message mods as well. Um, but if you would like like a nice little word, you can say guppy or guppies like in a sentence too. Um, if you would like to like it be for it to be like kind of inconspicuous or something like that. Um, I don't want any anybody to feel like called out or like singled out or anything but I think it'll be helpful to have like a safe word when manga and manhua fall under graphic novels as a genre for books um yeah I think so yeah mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure they fall under the graphic novel genre But yes, you can either message me or mod, um, or if I see anyone use the word guppy or guppies, I will reach out to you through like a Twitch whisper, or if you're in the Discord, I will probably DM you in the Discord, because Twitch whispers are glitchy as fuck. <laughs> Instead of having to leave stream. Yeah, exactly. Yes, yes, yes. Um, but I really want to make sure that we're all feeling nice and comfortable and safe and hopefully everyone feels comfortable to like you know shout out guppies or let me know if you're ever feeling uncomfortable either with the conversation the topic or like another person if if another person in chat is making anybody uncomfortable anything like that and i will reach out privately myself or a mod um will reach out privately that way nobody has to feel like you know 
it's all aired in chat or anything like that. So there's no pressure. And hopefully lessen anxiety around that type of thing. But yeah, I thought that would be useful, especially we were talking about boundaries and stuff. And boundaries is, are very, very important to have. And I think hopefully by having like a safe word in place, um, it'll also help with boundaries. Make everybody feel more comfortable. In a friend's stream the other day and the comments got out of hand and you had to leave. Oh, Phoenix, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I always feel bad. Um, I also, I'm also going to try and get better about like if we're having like a heavy topic conversation, pinning it at the top with like a content warning trigger warning for like what we're talking about. Because I know sometimes we can get into some heavy discussions. And I don't want anybody to feel like uncomfortable or triggered or like you have to leave because the com conversation is too much or anything like that. But yeah, I... Excuse me. I try to do better every day. I'm trying to think of more and more ways to make sure everybody feels like nice and comfortable and safe. So hopefully implementing stuff like that will help as well. Oh baby, what you doing? No, you. Cause you're my baby. <laughs> oh. Switch. Oh, when you get home. No, I see. Ah. Ah. Oh yeah, a command. Yeah, a command is a good thing too. Um, also, if you ever feel like you don't want to say like the word itself, you can always like use the the safe words command as well to kind of like let me know that maybe you want to be reached out to. Hmm. There's not in it. Oh, I don't know. I leave it on for your sister. Yeah, and your sister might come down for that half a cup. I don't know. Also, now you're saying it's cool to, that you have a gay friend. Stop. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Partner said, I'm an ally. <laughs> uh, I would sure fucking hope so. Yeah, since, <laughs> since you're a bit fruity. Would you like a hug? Me? Yeah. You smell like oil. Oh, you joined the book club, Froish, let's go! I'm so excited. It's gonna be a very, like, low-pressure... Low-pressure book club. I don't want anybody to feel like you have to read super fast, or... Um, maybe if you're not interested in, like, whatever book we're reading at the moment, you don't have to. You know? You can still join in on, like, the book clubby discussions.
Because I don't want there to be any stress or anxiety around it if we can help it. That's why you felt comfy joining, knowing there wasn't high expectations. Yeah, no high expectations. I've never been in a book club and I've certainly never ran a book club. So it's gonna be very much like how I run stream, which is very like low energy, low pressure, that kind of thing. I would never want anybody to feel like, you know, anxious or pressured about it. It's supposed to be something fun, you know? It's supposed to be fun. So as long as it's fun, that's what matters. Also, thank y'all for using um, my little referral link to sign up for Fable. Because I now have a bunch of, like, credits. <laughs> I have a bunch of credits now to get, like, uh, ebooks on the app, which is pretty cool. And also, every time somebody uses the link, you also get a $5 credit for the, like, ebook ebooks on there which i think is pretty cool <gasps> exolga hello welcome in don't remember how i found you but i've only lurked for a little while and feel safe and comfortable in your space so far grateful for what you're doing to make it so <gasps> thank you so much i'm so glad oh that makes my heart hurt i'm so glad to hear that And I hope you're doing really well. <gasps> Soju. <laughs> Buddy, wait, River, you know Ixolga? Also, did I say your name right? Ixolga? I like, Ixolga? If that's wrong, let me know. Or if you'd prefer um, to be referred to in a different way, please let me know. But yes, I would throw. <laughs> I'm gonna throw the. I'll throw the book club out again. Uh, we do have a new book club. It just started. We haven't picked a book yet. <gasps> From Cinnarin's community. Oh, I love Cinnarin. I know anybody coming from that community is going to be good people. Very quick, baby. You do whatever you need to do. You do whatever you need to do. I appreciate you. Um, but yes, uh, we started a book club. Feel free to join if you would like like a, a low energy, low expectation type of vibe. If you are also a book enjoyer. 2024 is the year of getting back into books for me. I'm very excited about it. I'm currently reading a few books. <gasps> Thank you for shouting out Cinnarin. Yes, we love Cinnarin. Fantastic creator. Such comfy, cozy vibes. An absolute delight. And also very much gremlin energy sometimes which is great and uh she is our sunshine tuber and i i just love so much so please follow if you're not already following yes 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 is good people is very good people absolutely but yeah anyway um we have ads coming up in like five minutes so i'm gonna wait to swap over to the game until after our first round of ads here 
But thank, thank y'all again for dealing with the technical difficulties today. Hopefully tomorrow, uh, hopefully I can fix the VTube studio before Sunday. Stream. I just meant, like, before next stream. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I meant to ask if you were planning on reading any poetry. That could check two boxes because reading and romantic romanticizing, well, depending on the poetry type. Yeah! Um, I mean, I'm open to reading anything. Only vibing and having a good time. Oh, thank you, Calamity. Thank you. Right now, I'm reading... Uh, I have I have four books checked out from the library and one one book that was gifted to me. So I'm currently reading One Dark Window by Rachel Gillig, which is a fantasy novel. It's kind of like a it's like a gothic dark fantasy. I'm reading that. I'm reading I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy, which is you know an autobiography memoir type. Um, I also have This Is How You Lose the Time War, which is science fiction. Uh, I have Palestinian Walks, which... I don't know how you would nonfiction, I guess, describe it. It's about this man who... Um, what does it say in here? He's a passionate hill walker, and the book is six walks he took between 1978 and 2006. And then the other book that I have out currently is Their, Fish Their, Their Vicious Games, which is a thriller. Um, by a black author, which was recommended from... One of the booktubers that I like to watch. So I've got a good variety. I I really am trying to um, make sure that I'm reading a good variety. Both in like genre and diversity of like authors. So I'm trying really hard to uh, make sure that I'm expanding my horizons, you know. Love poetry? Yes, I love poetry. I used to write some poems back in the day. In like high school. <laughs> in like middle and high school. I used to uh, express myself a lot through poetry. A lot of it's very depressing. <laughs> but, you know, it's fine. How to stop yourself from going all caps. Oh my god, you can go all caps and scream. I know that you were the one um, that first recommended One Dark Window. And I just want to say thank you because I'm like almost, I think I'm just about like halfway through. I think um, when I put in how many pages I'm on in Goodreads, it says I'm like 47 or 48% of the way through it. And I'm obsessed. It's so good. I love the unique magic system. I love the main, um, the main two characters, which I'm guessing are going to be, you know, romantic interests. Ooh. I'm obsessed with them both. Um, yeah, it's so unique and it's very, yeah, it's very aesthetic. I love the cover of it a lot. I'm glad that I own it. Like, I'm glad somebody gifted to me, gifted it to me because it's such a beautiful cover. Um, I literally, I got to where I am, which is like halfway through, and I already added the second book to my throne wish list because I already know that I'm gonna want the second book. It's so good. Genuinely annoying about how much I love the duology. <laughs> You're not annoying. It's not annoying to love something extremely. And it's not cringe. Cringe culture is dead. Fuck cringe culture. You've never written it, but you love reading it. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, I'd be, I'm completely open to any and all suggestions that y'all would like to read. Whether it's for book club. I know that book club is going to be like, you know, one book at a time. We could maybe get away with doing two if we do like a poetry collection. And like a, a novel. 
maybe, if people are up to like doing two at a time, you could try and do that. I can, <laughs> realistically, I can, I can read a few, few books at a time because I am definitely more of like a mood reader. Um, because some, day, some days I'm in the mood for fantasy. Other days I'm in the mood for like a thriller or like maybe a nonfiction. I don't know. So yeah, um, any and all suggestions you have though, please send them my way. My want to read shelf is like 200 plus books already. But like if y'all have any other suggestions and you would like to, feel free to use the Discord. If you're not already in the Discord, we do have a Discord. There is a books channel in Miscellaneous Topics. And please give me all of your recommendations. I love recommendations. I always have at least two books going once. Yeah, two to three is a good good number. Cause like you know sometimes you don't you don't vibe with one, so you gotta have a couple others. Cringe is dead and gone. Yeah, no more cringe. Fuck cringe culture. Don't let people make you feel like your interests and the things that you were enthusiastic and passionate about are like cringe and annoying because they're not read what i feel like i'm gonna move for yeah i'm definitely i'm definitely like that too i will say that i am um kind of putting one dark window on hold because i did check out two books that um, have a limited checkout time. They're only like a 14 day loan because they're like new slash popular at the library. So I am focusing on those first and then I'll probably, I'll go back to One Dark Window. But since I own it, I don't feel rushed to have to like finish reading, even though I really want to keep reading that one because it's so good. I'm going to try and focus on the ones that I need to return to the library sooner. Not, I mean, two weeks is still a while away. So it's not like super rush. You're applying to publishing ops this year for your poetry and short stories. Oh my God, Jinx. That's so exciting. I have all of the manifest energy sending it your way. I send you so much, so much hype and love and support and manifesting. That's so cool. big nervous you've got this i believe in you i believe i believe okay i do have to run some ads now um and then we will hop into our final fantasies so i'll be back in a few minutes thank you all for hanging out i appreciate you make sure that you stretch uh grab a drink if you need a drink or snack or anything like that the fantasies <laughs> so <shoot. laughs> okay i'll be back in a couple minutes Thank you. 
play rock, paper, scissors, bro.
Kroger brand has you covered with quality items at low prices so you can save big on everyday faves like creamy peanut butter, ready to heat pizza, and so much more. Save on proven quality every time you shop. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Hello. God, this is so awesome. I don't want to make TikToks with you anymore. Bro, these fucking ads are annoying as hell on YouTube, I swear. They're so annoying. So annoying. The ads are something. I'm sorry you had to deal with ads. I was saying go by to a partner they went back to work from lunches oh <gasps> wait calamity you and your partner are both trying to put out your fantasy books this year oh my god <gasps> that's so exciting uh, publish a book of short horror stories oh my god y'all are so talented and awesome what the heck Thank you for the welcome backs. Mm, I don't know how I want to set myself. Let's make myself smaller. Sure. I don't know. Like that. Big help financially for one to do book sales, but also both just love writing and have wanted to write books forever. I love that so much. That's so cool. Hard out here for disabled writers, though. Stories get passed over for queer Greek mythology book from one place. Aw. Oh, I'm so sorry, Jinx. It is rough out here. Absolutely for sure. All right, I'm gonna move you all over to the other monitor. part Greek, so you're kind of over it. I mean, that makes sense, for sure. That does make sense.
<laughs> it must be your Greek fam's gay as heck like you good. Let's go. Love to see it. Love to see it. Book is very disabled centric too. Just stick to self publish. Super huge that your magic using a disabled character gets her time to show there's a magic. Oh, I love that so much. Oh my god. I love that. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Game. Game. Oh yes, I'm getting game. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I had to find I had to find my game. But I did it. I hate that I can't move this the way I freaking want to. It's fine, I'll leave her like that. Aww, y'all are so cute. The world does need more disabled stories. Absolutely. Nothing sold again. Rude as hell. Um, this year I really want, I really want to try and save up to commission like a PNG tuber plus of my, uh, stream Sona model. Not as chibi version as this probably, but I think I would prefer just like a PNG tuber plus and not an actual VTube model. I like both. I, well, I like all like virtual models. I think they're all cool in their own different ways. Oh, <gasps> may open PNG comms later this year. 
Heck yeah. Yeah, I definitely want to work on getting a model that looks the way I want it to. Dang, not a single damn one! Rude, my chair is sinking again. I fucking hate it here. Okay. How are you that nice? Thank you for contributing to hockey. I can't believe y'all. The Hawaii is already like 44% of the way. Holy shit. I want the ability to streaming in all calamity. Oh my god. I hope that you get the ability too soon again. Thank you for fishing, Bruna. Let me. Grab fish. The haw ye approaches. True. Y'all will probably. <laughs> you'll probably get that done this month. I will not be surprised. If you reach that. The entirety of it. In one month's time. <gasps> Thank you for contributing. Alright, the Bruna fish. Oh, mm, that's a duplicate. Gator gar. Yeah, ching harp. And the ray. Congratulations on your catches. Only one was a duplicate. What's a PNG tuber plus? It's um it's like a regular PNG tuber, but it has like more functionality from my understanding, like um, more personalized and I think like can do a wider range of like emotion hotkeys or something. I'm not 100% sure. I just know I've seen a bunch of people with like quote unquote PNG tuber pluses and they're really cool looking so what time is it okay I'll see what the thing is gonna be in four minutes I suppose Air Force One yes but also I'll go do my Fashion. Wild sign. Okay, I probably don't have anything good for this, so. We present. Cute and have more variety. Yeah, more variety and expression. That's what I thought it was. I'm so tired of this fucking chair, dude. I'm over it. I'm over it! I don't understand how you're so, still so tired. I understand. It is a wonder how we can just constantly be so tired, especially us disabled, chronically ill folk. It's like constant tiredness. The world is exhausting, that's true. Wow, a 68. They can't, they couldn't just give me a 69. Prude. Rude. Thanks for my 10k. Da, da, 
Oh, I unlocked the shoes too, but I don't want the shoes. I only wanted the bottoms. Yeah, I'm gonna wait around for Air Force One. Did you say you only like the bottoms? No, no, no. I said I only wanted the spring bottoms <laughs> from the boutique thing. <laughs> I only like bottoms. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I like the, the spring bottoms are these like little shorts. I like them a lot. Oh, well, I got to drag. I got dragged into 60. I forgot. I'm mean, gonna get pugilist to 30, and I also I need to do job quests probably. But want to add all the goosebumps I read. But how am I gonna remember the names and specific ones to add to my list? There were some. I know. Top hater. <laughs> Not this. I know. I want an adult scholastic book fair too. Absolutely. Nostalgia brain. <laughs> Thank you for adding quote. You remembered! I'm so proud of you! Yeah, I miss Book Ferris very much. Air Force One! My favorite gate, let's go. <laughs> Not if you quote him. <laughs> Naturally. Thank you for Lurkies, Bruna. Do you really hear the dragon event? Oh, not yet, I'm gonna do it today. I have not done the year of the dragon event. I'm going to do that today. Yes, have good Lurkies, Bruna. I appreciate you very much. Oh yes, you should be able to come to Gold Saucer now. Oh my god, that's so exciting. Exciting stuff. Force one. <laughs> it's so fun to me. I love the pew pew sounds. Thank you, thank you, I know. It 
in the presence of MVP. <laughs> yes, your chocobo friend. I'm so excited that you got to the part where you unlock like so much fun stuff. Your chocobo friend. Oh my god, slim fast with the the gold elephant head. That's so funny. Um, chocobo friend, gold saucer. Grant Company. Now you can start earning seals. Grant Company seals. Yay, they did a success. A success story. Alright. I only need level 90 gloves and then i have level nine all level 90 stuff for my fisher it's not all the best in slot stuff because that's expensive as fuck but it is pretty good i just have level 87 gloves left to upgrade to 90s but it is expensive out here to buy gear oh my god A demon skirt. Interesting. Ew. I like the blue, I know those are better, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, everything is good now. Who do I want to go th through MSQ as? Today. I guess I'll... I guess I'll Scholar? For the free XP? Switch my to all be this one though. I have my Moogle book? I do. Nice. Hmm. Do I still want these winter tights on? Yeah, I guess so. It's still wintry. They don't have to be necessarily just holiday. They can be wintry. They can be wintry. Okay, I sell all my old stuff. That's not what I meant to do.
Didn't I have stuff I wanted to put in the company chest for my retainer? I think I do. Why didn't I take those out? I don't know. I'm gonna go grab. Then I will do this event quest and then MSQ after that. Okay, I wanted to put this in the company chest. Can I put that in the company chest? I have no idea. These, these. These, that, those. You need to get up and be productive. I believe in you. Make sure that you take it easy. Don't overdo it or anything like that. Hi, Small. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for contributing to the Hawaii stream. I hope you're doing well. Okay. Did I put... Yeah. Imagination. I can't put this in there. I can't put any of this in here. I'm gonna put some food in here. <laughs> you don't know me, <laughs> please. I just care about you and I don't want you to overdo it. Okay, now I'm gonna go put this stuff back in my retainer's inventory and then come grab this. <gasps> Give it a little chocobo. I'm so excited to get him. meat kettle <laughs> I mean you're not wrong you're not wrong wait I need to make sure I also need to make sure my my slutty outfit is ready for Americ I mean what because I don't remember when our date is. So I gotta make sure it's ready to go. these on I can't oh why is it so far over here I don't really have quote-unquote 
slutty shoes. <laughs> I guess these for as much leg as possible. The Fall Guys ones are too goofy. I can't do the Fall Guys ones. Any more cute outfits? You're going to get so many cute outfits. You just got to keep going. I feel like this is prime time slutty shorts. The Oracle pantalets. I feel like those I feel like those are slutty enough. <laughs> uh. The shoes, I don't I don't know about the shoes, but that's the best I can do. Also, a fishing outfit, I want to put the shorts on. Change the shoes. Mm, no, I'll wait to change it until I get to Stormblood, actually. Change my my fishing glam with every expansion as well. Ooh, and then I get to change my hairstyle again when we get to Stormblood. That's gonna be exciting. Okay. Look at the Moogle! I love this Moogle up here so much. What a beautiful baby. Well met, friend, and welcome to our festivities. I am known in my homeland of Hingashi as the Ryu Matsuke, and it is my delegation's solemn charge to share our heaven-stern custom with the peoples of Eorzea that we might join hands in revelry. Although heaven-stern is observed in both our lands to mark the coming of a new year, there is a difference between our traditions. Here in Eorzea, a deity is chosen from among the twelve to preside to preside over the heavens, while in the Far East we honor one of twelve noble beasts. And this year, that beast is the mighty Ryu, a creature you Eorzeans might liken to a dragon. Now, in order to liven up the festivities, we've decided to have a pair of horsebird hatchlings, or should I say chocobo chicks, serve as mascots. Winsomely dressed in draconic attire, we were certain that they would delight all who laid eyes upon them. However, when the Ryu Bugyo, the leader of our delegation, presented one of the chicks to the crowd, the reception was disappointedly muted. We know not where we erred. I say, you are an adventurer, are you not? In the course of dispensing aid, you must have acquired some insight into the people's interests. Loath though I am to impose, will you not help us to identify our plan's failings? In so doing, we may yet find a way to win over the locals with our mascots. They're so cute, how could anybody not love them? You have my thanks. To begin, I ask you to seek out the Ryu Bugyo. For one of passers-by, she decided to wander around this plaza with her hatchling. When you find her, pray ask for her account of our dilemma and thence help us find a solution. They're so cute. How could anybody not love the little chocobo with a dragon on? This is so cute. Oh, the baby. Wait, I want this dragon head. Oh, -ho, curious about our delegation too, are you? That is well, for I was just about to introduce our mascot, Ryunosuke, to this young lady. The baby. Oh my god. Feast your eyes on a horse bird among horse birds. The pinnacle of plumage. I dare say, Heaven Stern has never hatched a mascot as utterly charming as our regal Ryu. 
Well, he's certainly adorable, but what's a Ryu? And why do you have him dressed up in that costume? An excellent question. You see, we wish to present the charms of the Chocobo and the Ryu in a lovable package. Just look at him waggle his scaly little tail. It's an exquisite combination, you must agree. And it would be remiss of me not to mention the craftsmanship that went into the outfit. Our weavers spared no effort to evoke the might and majesty of the Ryu in the diminutive form before you. The finished product is simply divine, is it not? Um, I suppose. I still don't know what a Ryu is, but never mind. Thank you for letting me play with him. Wait, I want the thigh highs that kid was wearing. Hello? They had little bows on the sides? Yet again, I failed to convey the virtues of our mascot. You come at Ryu Metsuke's behest? I should be most grateful for your aid, adventurer. I seek only to share our mascot's charms with the people of Eorzea, but my every attempt has ended in failure as you've just witnessed. Try as I might, I cannot see what I am doing wrong. If you have any advice, anything at all, I would be most eager to hear it. Yeah, you may want to talk more about the Ryu. The kid just wanted to know what the Ryu was. Talk about the Ryu, you say? Rather than tediously explaining tradition, I had hoped to initiate the people through our mascots. You believe this is not enough? Hmm. It may- it might avail me to speak with that young girl as well. Let her gaze upon Ryunosuke once more, and- <coughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh? Wherever did our little mascot go? Followed after, after the girl, you say? We must find him, and quickly. Please, adventurer, will you not help with the search? Thank you. Now then, I believe the girl set off in the direction of the tavern the drowning wench, was it? If we find her, I dare say we will find Ryunosuke. Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> He's a horse. Holy shit. What is this horse head? I know the name Slab Squat Thrust. Oh, not the Centel. Oh, whoa. <laughs> whoa, the meat axe. Look at this adventure plate. He's a chimpkin, but like, my God. Hello? Oh my God, okay, all right. <laughs> Thank you for clipping. Holy moly. <laughs> that was quite something. Ah, oh, thank goodness you're here. I've been asking this guardswoman about the girl, but I'm struggling to make myself understood. Perhaps you can help clear things up. The lady says she's looking for a girl with a Ryu, but I haven't the faintest, faintest idea what that is. It's a chocobo chick wearing a costume. Ah, uh, then you must be speaking of the odd little critter I spotted a few moments ago. I was- it was wearing what looked like a dragon costume and was waddling after a young girl. I'm afraid I didn't observe where they went though. Sorry I couldn't be of more help. Many thanks for your assistance. In my haste, I had neglected to explain the meaning of the word Ryu. 
As the Ryu Metsuke uh, told me, the creature doesn't exist in Eorzea. If I had begun by clarifying that it is similar to a dragon, I could have avoided, avoided the misunder... Oh. I dare say I know now why our mascot has so struggled to win over the masses. I shall speak with this guardswoman a little more, in case she has aught else of note to share. Once I'm finished, I plan to scour the upper decks. In the meantime, might I trouble you to search the lower decks? Once we have finished, let us reconvene at Bulwark Hall. <gasps> Hi, Tulilips. I don't know why I just struggled so hard to say your name. Tulilips. Hello, welcome in. <laughs> Thank you for your daily fish. <laughs> Feel free to call you Lily. Thank you so much. I don't know why I struggled so hard. I've said your username like in my brain, but the brain to mouth like verbalization, not always great. But hello, it's nice to see you. I hope you're doing well today. Whoa, dancer. Lower deck. I'm glad you're doing good. Uh, I'm hanging in there. We're just doing the current seasonal event in the Final Fantasy XIV. Oh, fishmonger! You got fish in these baskets? I love fish. Also, this outfit is cute. Wait. Got the spring bottoms on? They're so cute. And they're like the... You dyed them? What is this? Dalamud Red? I don't know. But it's cute. Uh, cute cat girl is cute. I want this hairstyle so bad. I want this hairstyle. I want it. I want it so bad. Give it to me. A chocobo chick wearing a little green dragon costume. Hasn't come this way, I'm afraid. With customers scarce as they are today, I'd remember if something like that walked by. It appears the girl in the chocobo did not come this way. Okay, I want this hair so bad. It's so freaking cute. Ugh. I want it. A young lass and a chocobo chick. I spied them walking past the etherite, though I couldn't say where they went from there. Here's the girl in the chocobo passed through the etherite plaza. Etherite plaza. Wormst. <gasps> it's one o'clock. Please hold. Oh my god. Metallic. I must fish. Thank you. Do I have enough bait? Yeah, for sure. Wainer Stone Fist. He's very metallic y.
Oh my god, Lala with a bunny head. Holy shit. Bunny head. Oops. Oops. I accidentally tapped. Uh, she looked a little lost, so I asked her if she needed help, but she told me she was fine. She was heading to the Ageless River. Though I left it at that, I can't help but worry for her. Out there on her own, I hope you find her soon. Learn something of note. Continue scouring the lower decks for more information. Okay. Hmm? I I know the last year after. Sibley's her name. And she's the daughter of a fellow merchant. A good friend of mine, in fact. You'd be hard-pressed to find a happier father and daughter. They go fishing at the river together all the time they do. But he'll soon set sail for faraway lands, I'm told. Sibley's worried sick, and for good reason. The ocean's a fickle mistress, and even a simpler voyage could cost a man his life. Any road, she came through here earlier, but I'm afraid I couldn't say where she is now. Perhaps someone else can help you there. Believe you have enough information on Sibley's whereabouts. Make your way to Bulwark Hall and report your findings to the Ryu Bugyo. Bugyo. Okay. Wait, where am I going? Oh. Bulwark Hall. I'm so silly. That's over here. Whoa. The bun boy tom tom. There you are. By your triumphant expression, dare I hope you've learned something of the little girl in our mascot? So the girl, Sibley, was headed for the Ageless River. That you should find just the information we need is auspicious indeed. For my part, in the course of speaking with the locals, I was able to learn more about dragons. That is, while they have many similarities with the Ryu of the Far East, they are in fact different creatures. I had been under the impression that they were one and the same, but be it their folklore or their status in mortal society, they are quite distinct. I had assumed that the people of Eorzea were like me, that they thought the, the Ryu was simply a dragon by another name. I suppose it is little wonder that Sibley looked so puzzled during our first encounter. When next we find her, I shall do my utmost to explain the true meaning of her mascot. Now, off to the Ageless River with us. Okay. <gasps> Saki is Mancha Karanchin. The Mancha Crunch. Worms? Oh. I got three minutes to get through this. I wish you didn't have to go, Papa. Huh? You're the adventurer from before. What are you doing here? Oh, thank the Kami we found you, Sibley. Uh, and the lady in the fancy helmet, too. How did you know my name? I see. I'm sorry to cause you both trouble. I just wanted to visit my papa's favorite fishing spot, but your chokebo chick ended up following me all the way. Well, he's safe with you now. If there's nothing else, I'll be off. Pray wait a moment. In the course of searching for Rinosuke, we couldn't help but learn that your father will soon embark upon a voyage, and it has left you feeling troubled. I realize we are but strangers, but if you are not adverse, will you not talk to us about it? 
It's all right. My papa, he, he's heading for Hingashi for trade. I heard it's a long and dangerous journey and it made me worry. I wanted to pray to the navigator to keep him safe at sea. But then I found out that Lim Lian wasn't chosen this heaven's turn and it made me worry even more. I see. As you say, it isn't the navigator, but the keeper who presides over the heavens this year. But if not the navigator, I thought I could at least pray to a god from the far east. That's why I went to talk to you. So that is the way of it. You came to me hoping to beseech our divinities to protect your father. But in my fervor to showcase our mascot, I failed to lend an ear to your earnest desire. Well, I hear you now, young one, and I shall tell you a tale about the Ryu that will grant you comfort. I just need to recall a suitable one. Something that ideally features the ocean. <gasps> the baby! Quack, quack, quack! <laughs> oh, what's gotten into you, little one? Curious what lies that way, are you? It's a place called Woad Whisper Canyon. Canyon? Canyon? No, what? Am I okay? Canyon. Papa told me that waterfalls appeared there after the calamity and they changed the flow of the Nim River. Waterfalls changing the course of a river. I believe I have the perfect tale for you, Sibley. One that will bolster your spirits as your father departs on his journey. Let us head to these waterfalls that we might avail ourselves of their ambiance. Even Ryunosuke is keen and we wouldn't want to ignore such a fortuitous omen. <gasps> My cue! Perfect timing. My cue. <sighs> Excuse me. Oh, my God. A stretch. A do 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 Cookie. Let me out. Let me out. I must fish. Oh shoot, it's as time. Uh oh. Okay, I'm gonna run our ads. Thank you for bearing with them. I'm just going to be fishing. You won't miss too much, I promise. The intuition.
my god, special butterfly. <laughs> A gobooby ray. Nice. Oh shit! Uh, Krill to try and get Devil's Sting. Seven plus seconds. Welcome back from ads. Thank you so much for putting up with the ads. They do help support me and the channel. Very appreciated. We got our special card just now. I'm not gonna identicast, that's fine. I got Devil Sting. Now I'm gonna try and get the click of it. Click of it? Oh, no, that's, that should be the Manta. That wasn't long enough. Nice! Got both of the ones I needed, let's fucking go! Hell yeah! Where do I need next stop? Rag again. Hello? I thought I switched to Rag. Alright, we're good. We're good! Hell yeah. Seal delays. Cool, now the only one I need in that is the big. Uh, I just need the big one in that one. Oh, I am missing two in Blood Bride besides Big Boy. I have everything on both those. Missing Big Boy on both of these and those.
Rag again. Crab. Good, because I need more crabs. Holy shit. Dolphins! Dolphins.
Damn. That would have been so cool. Right, this next stop better be really good. Mini break time, yay, break time. Carry the bookshelf box, it's too heavy. So you had to make six trips to the other room with parts. Oh, Phoenix, oh no. I feel that though. I had to do the same thing for our big bookcase. I also could not carry the box because it was too heavy. So I understand. <laughs> I bet it's gonna look so nice though. It's for your Legos? Oh, wow. Damn, that was a blood polish. That's okay. I'm trying to, I want to save the triple hook for the, if we get spectral. If we don't get spectral, I'll try and get, I'll try and manifest a blood polish grab that I can triple hook. most of your books downstairs with family oh yeah that makes sense <gasps> legos i love legos that's so cool
Mm. Rude. Nice. Okay, plump. Okay, I need the non immediate. Large boy. Why did I lose a fish again? Fucked up. Game clearly broken. You're too skilled to lose a fish. I'm saying calamity. <laughs> uh, the toad isn't even here. So the intuition doesn't even matter. Hi, see, I hope you're doing well. Thank you for your daily fish and taxes. Hope you're doing well. Make sure you stay hydrated and take care of yourself. Thank you for the quiet hello. Appreciate you greatly. Man, they really don't want to give me this short. I'm going for my crab triple hook then. not what I wanted, but I triple hooked anything that I got. Oh, it was a sunken boy. Fucked up. That's fucked up. Oh well.
Come, let us head to these waterfalls. They would provide the perfect setting for my tail. Okay. begin. The Ryu is a creature that shares many similarities with the dragons of Eorzea, but as I myself recently discovered, it is in fact a distinct being. Nor is there just the one Ryu. Nay, there exist myriad individuals, all of whom have their own tales, and the creature I will speak about is the mighty Siryu, one of the four lords, who legend holds birth a great waterfall in the far east. Quick! <laughs> Little baby. That does sound exciting, doesn't it? In the region of Yansha flows the One River, and its plentiful waters nourish nearby lands. In ages past, it is said Siryu, Siryu drank so deeply of the river that he altered its very course, and in so doing gave rise to a waterfall, the dragon struggle. While it is not widely known, Siryu was also regarded as a guardian deity who protected people from disasters of water. Disasters like storms and floods? Indeed. Long ago, it was believed that calamities would be quelled by sacrificing a young maiden to a divine beast such as Sirio. Thank you for fishing, Jinx. You had a root skipper. Calamities, there's more of me. There's so many. So many calamities. And while no written records exist, there is a tale of a seaside village that fell in the path of a raging storm. Desperate to calm the heavens, the villagers offered unto Seiryu one of their daughters. However, Seiryu showed no interest whatsoever in the young girl. To merely know the villagers' plight was enough for him, it seemed. And he turned the course of the storm and spared them untold devastation. A benevolent being, Seiryu, who wields his power over water for good. Even now, he hears our prayers and protects us and our loved ones from harm. That, my dear, is just one example of the noble beast we celebrate this heaven's turn. Together, let us offer a prayer to Seiryu and wish your father safe travels and calm waters. That sounds perfect, miss. Thank you so much. Aww. Have a nice shower, Soju. Yes, yes. Go have a nice relaxing shower. We must thank Rinosuke as well. Were it not for him, I might not have recalled the tale of Seiryu. Now you can pray to Seiryu for safe, safe travels too, adventurer. Oh, but perhaps you already heard this story? This is my first time hearing it too. Really? Well, then I'm glad we could hear it together. Now that I think on it, miss, you said that no written records exist of that tale. How did you come to know it? An astute observation, Sibley. You see, my family is said to be descended from the maiden who was offered to Seryu. As long ago as the event took place, there is no way to confirm the tale's veracity, but if true, then it is by the grace of Seryu that I am here alive. Thus have I made it my mission to spread the word of his noble kind. I know he's vibing so hard, I love him! Looking back from the time you followed after Sibley, it is as if you have been 
guiding me, little one. I may be your caretaker, but it was you who was watching over me. Just like an honest to God's Ryu. <laughs> They're pouring their heart out for the Lord, and he's just like, I must dance. He's got a song in his head, and he just can't help but wiggle. With this, I now know what I must do to initiate people into our traditions. And I shall continue doing so for as long as the Ryu reigns in the heavens. Yes, he reminds me of the little curb. The little curb dance. Come, let's head back to the city together. We wouldn't want to make your father worry now, would we, Sibley? Look at him run! He's so cute! Sark out! Are cute. <laughs> Forgot to bring out my fairy. Sassy Sparkle Blade. What a name. you are, adventurer. Lest you wonder, young Sibley is now safely home, and I have just apprised the Ryu Matsuke of our fruitful outing. Now that I have discovered a more suitable approach to my draconic dilemma, I wish to wander the city again for onlookers. Though I regret to impose upon you once more, your support with Sibley was most helpful. Might you accompany me while I make my rounds about the area? With your discerning eyes, I am certain that you could readily identify those who might be receptive of our message. What say you? Okay. I'm truly grateful. Come, let us set forth at once. Entering a different area, speaking with them again. Okay. Okay. They follow me. They follow. We're on a mission. What the hell is that chocobo chick supposed to be dressed up as? Ryanosuke here is wearing a costume that mimics the Ryu, dragons of the Far East. It is held that these creatures have mastery over water, and a sailor such as your good self may benefit from knowing about them. Huh, if you ask me, it looks like, uh, it looks more like a sea serpent. Hold it, it wouldn't have anything to do with that thrice damned primal leviathan, would it? I, I assure you there is no connection whatsoever. Far from causing disasters of water, the Ryu is a benevolent beast that protects us from, from them. If you're interested in knowing more, I invite you to seek us out at the Aft Castle. Is that right? Still, here in Limsa, we've got the Navigator. That's all the protection we need on the high seas. Ah, yes, I understand the people of your nation look to Limlayan to favor them with safe voyages. Be that as it may, disasters of water can strike beyond the bounds of the sea. In which case, placing your faith in the Ryu could provide you with added assurance. Huh, I suppose it don't hurt to have more friends in high places, as it were. 
fine, fine, I'll go and see what this is all about. Yes? How can I assist you in your curiously dressed chocobo chick? If I may shed some light on the mystery of our mascot, little Ryanosuke here is named for the Ryu, dragons of the Far East. Oh? I thought dragons are supposed to be fearsome. This fellow looks anything but. Our costume companion notwithstanding, the Ryu is in fact a powerful and fearsome beast, yet by the same token they are fondly regarded as symbols of good fortune. Should you be curious about them, we will be glad to tell you more at the Ath Castle. A being that's regarded with both fear and fondness. Intriguing. Perhaps I'll pay a quick visit to the Ath Castle before returning to work. <laughs> they will not let this little guy live down in his sick fit. I know! They're just jealous, really. I think they're just really jealous that he's dressed better than any of us could ever dream to be. They're jealous of his vibe. By the gods, I had just resolved to salve my soul with the sight of adorable creatures this year, but what could appear and what should appear but the most charming of chocobo chicks? What's your name, little one, and what is that winsome outfit you're wearing? You have a keen eye, sir. This little fellow is Ryanosuke, and he's dressed as a Ryu, a dragon of the Far East. By thus attiring Eorzea's favorite beast of burden, we hoped to create a symbol of friendship between our lands. Well, now that this adorable form should harbor such splendid symbolism, I've never heard of this Ryu before, and now I'm keen to know more. In that case, sir, I invite you to seek us out at the Ath Castle anon. There, we will be glad to answer all your questions. Excellent, we shall head there at once. This guy's got it right. He was so excited to see this adorable creature. Oh, what a relief to see the locals take an interest in the Ryu. I dare say we have gathered enough people, so let us head back to the Aft Castle. Gigi Wazoo. Oh my god. Chocobo man. Oh my god, I just realized um the Lugie's not there. They got a Chocobo man, but not the Lugie today. So our Bugio makes her triumphant return. You have done a tremendous job to pique the interest of so many. You are too kind, Mitsuke. None of this would have been possible without the adventurer and Ryunosuke's help. There you are, miss. My papa wanted to meet you, so I've brought him. 
So you're the kindly folks who helped my Sibley. I haven't the words to probably thank you, but I'm truly grateful for what you've done. I'm glad to see my girl smiling again. Pray do not mention it, sir. We too owe Sibley much and more. How fares the preparations for your journey, if I may ask? Very well, thank you. And with Sibley praying to the legendary Seryu for my safe for my safety, no matter how far I venture from home, I have no doubt that all will be well. I shall pray for your safety as well. What little we might do to help you on your way, we gladly do it. Indeed, while sharing the blessing of the divine beasts is a fine thing, naught is more rewarding to our delegation than fostering friendship between our lands. For all the help you've afforded us, I wish to give you a proper reward, yet I do not know what might be suitable. The baby! Rinosuke? Are you saying you wish to accompany our adventurer friend? Hmm, I believe the little one wishes to be your charm against tumultuous waters, and he would be hard pressed to choose a better companion. We still have Ryuji to aid us in our work, so if you so wish it, Ryunosuke is yours. Ryunosuke wants to come with me. Ryunosuke, my little guardian, thank you for everything. May your divine aura keep our friend safe. And may you and yours enjoy the rest of the heaven stern season, my friend. Know that wherever the Ryu roars, good fortune shall be upon you. Oh, so cute. <laughs> I love the holiday events. They're so cute. Yes, you get the cute friend. You get the cute friend for finishing the quest. Look at him. Rinosuke, so cute. Um, it's the it's the holiday event or seasonal event. Um, you can pick it up in Limsa if you go to the App Castle uh, Ethernet shard thing. <gasps> the bookshelf may be over your head. Oh no! Do you have anybody to help you with it? Greetings, my friend. I deal in Omikuji, traditional Far Eastern fortunes. Would you care to draw one? Yes, I want to draw my fortune, thank you. You may draw as many as you like, but know that you must pay a fee of 100 gil per draw. Very good, I shall be happy to oblige. All right, fingers crossed for a good fortune. Oh, shaking it. Uh-oh, not the misfortune. Thou shalt experience misfortune. <gasps> no. I'm re I'm doing a new one. No, 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 that one doesn't count. No, 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 no. Yeah, tie it on there so we can get a, a better one. They're at home right now. Oh, I see. Oh, I'm sorry, Phoenix. Please let me draw a better one. Thank you. That one didn't count. We pretend that one didn't happen. Anything but misfortune, please. I don't need like the best one ever, but God, not misfortune. Oh, 
Okay, better. Small fortune, that's fine, that's fine. Thou shalt experience limited fortune and keep these words of guidance in thy heart. Adventure, know thy destination before thou embarkest upon thy journey. Relationships, help those in need and friendship shall, blossom, shall bloom. Prosperity, although it be at great expense, thou shalt obtain the object of thy desire. Conflict, continue honing thyself with thine allies. Favor, be unyielding like unto the destroyer, and thou shalt break through any hardship. Thank you. That's so much better. A uh, screenshot, actually. Wait, where was your time? This screenshot. Beautiful. I will take that one. Thank you. Whether it was a decided, desired result or otherwise, I pray the words imparted by the fortune serve to guide you in the coming days. Thank you. This one was much better. Oh, festive supplier. That's who I want to talk to. What else can I get? Zoni. And magic prism advent cakes. Okay. I'll grab some prisms. Alright, let's see what the this one looks like. Oh, <gasps> cute! That's so cute. Oh, there's a YouTube video for it. Yay! Oh my god. The wonders of the YouTube. Very good, very good. Is this one? Mysterious Stranger Gods of Eld, what is that? Icon sealed within the Etherochemical Research Facility. Teehee. Not right now, thanks. Thanks so much. Thanks, but no thanks. Oh. 
Huh? I know the this I know the back of that person more than anybody. Holy shit. <laughs> Fortuitous timing as always, Lorelei. Tataru was about to brief me on the search for our missing comrades. If you would be so kind then. Absolutely. You'll be pleased to learn that Riol and his men have been making excellent progress. You remember how Philomene helped me to escape the Crystal Braves in Limsa Lomensa only to then disappear? Well, according to Riol, she crept aboard a ship bound for Rosatan, where she's been hiding ever since. He assures me that it won't be long before we're reunited. As for Ida and Papalimo, the remains of their Link Pearls have been found, and in Pearl Lane of all places. Riol thinks they must have disposed of them after escaping from the Royal Promenade. Yes, that would make sense. They could not risk being eavesdropped upon by our betrayers. We're all but certain they fled the city shortly after, though we still don't have a clue where they went. I see. And what of Thancred and Menphilia? I'm afraid I have nothing new to share about those two. But it's not all doom and gloom. The good news is we've enlisted the services of a Charlian scholar, one of the students of Valdesian, to aid in the search, who should be arriving any day now. One of the students, you say? I should very much like to meet this scholar, if time permits. But first we must attend to a more pressing matter. <gasps> Sir Emmerich has summoned the two of us for a private audience. The message did not specify what he wished to discuss, only that it was urgent. Assuming you have no objections, Lorelai, I suggest we proceed to the congregation forthwith. And mayhap we can meet with the scholar afterwards. Agreed? In that case, I think I'll return to the Forgotten Night for now. Things are liable to fall apart if I'm gone too long, you know. A private audience with Sir Amaric? Alphano, you can leave this one to me. Thank you for coming. Oh. I wish to speak with you both in a place where privacy was assured. And it's voiced. Oh. <clears throat> I'm fine. We quite understand. What was it that you wished to discuss? With my father's passing, the seat of the Archbishop lies vacant. And so, in accordance with canon law, I have assumed his responsibilities. I should stress that this is a temporary measure. It was never intended that the Lord Commander of the Temple Knights serve in this capacity indefinitely. Quite the opposite. The statutes specify that I should surrender my powers as soon as a conclave of the senior clergy and the high houses have named a new archbishop. But in light of recent events, that would not seem appropriate. I confess I did not expect you to divulge quite so much quite so soon. The details of the Archbishop's plans, perhaps, but the true origin of the war and all it entails? <laughs> Sorry, Cafe can't come to the phone right now. They're too thirsty. I'm very, yeah, parched. Just absolutely fucking parched. I too thirsty too to do anything. But when the Warrior of Light is witnessed returning to the capital upon the back of a dragon, one's options are rather limited. Mayhap I could have concealed certain details, but for how long? And at what risk? Should the truth have come to light in the meantime, how would the people have viewed my silence? After a thousand years of lies and secrecy, I could not well abuse their trust and hope to be believed. The time for deception has passed. I only wish the people agreed. That some would deny the truth I had anticipated, but not this many. 
And among the few who acknowledged that my father had to be stopped, no small number questioned our methods. <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate, Jinx. <laughs> If they suspect yeah, 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 because I'm thirsty. Thank you, yes. I just need to hydrate a bit, yeah. It has already begun, and that on both sides. Men and women of the cloth are being harassed in the streets. Some have even been assaulted in the broom. Hilda and her people have formed a watch to help us maintain order. But such measures will not prevent the unrest from spreading. For all our talk of peace, the people remain frightened and confused. For their sake, we must bring the Dragon Song War to a definitive end. Hear, hear. And we should be glad to help you, Sir Emmerich. But what precisely would you have us do? We wish to treat with the dragons of Annex Trine. To that end, I would trouble you for an escort and an introduction. Annex Trine? You would speak with Vidofnir then? <laughs> with a we tall must need glass of air between our peoples. Acting as my representative, Lucia will extend an invitation to their leader that she might visit us here in Ishgard. I mean, you would need a very tall glass for sure. <laughs> Were she still with us, I would of course have beseeched Isel's assistance in this matter. But as she is not, I must ask that you aid us in her stead. Will you do us this favor? He's so fucking pretty. Thank you. Thank you, my friends. Oh. Lucia, I leave the rest to you. In the wake of the Archbishop's fall, the nation of Ishgard trembled. The faith of her people shaken to its very core. For a thousand years had they fought and died, certain of the justice of their cause, only to be told that their holy war was born of the sins of their forefathers. What then for those brave men and women, thus stripped of their righteousness but to despair? to deny the truth and decry its speakers. And what then for those whom they defamed but to hope on, to have faith in a brighter tomorrow? A tomorrow in which man and dragon might live together in harmony, then as distant as the very stars in the heavens. Yet while we dared to hope, deep within his lair, the enemy lay, gathering his strength. Nidhogg, now possessed of his two eyes and the body of the Azure Dragoon, prizes to which he had laid claim at the very hour of the hero's triumph. as we sought the solace of peace, the great worm craved the misery of war, nor was he alone in his misbegotten desire. Uh, Hi, Eggs. Thank you for the quiet hello. I hope you're doing well. Make sure you stay hydrated and take care of yourself.
I know little of the lands these dragons call home, this annex trine. Had you not agreed to escort me, the coming journey would seem a far more daunting prospect. I confess I myself once shuddered at the thought of it, yet even the longest journey begins with the first step, does it not? Ah, but ere we set forth, Lorelai and I must needs inform our comrade of our plans. Very well, I shall see to my preparations. Then let us go and bid farewell to Chitaru, Lorelai. So, what was your secret meaning all about? I'm all ears. A diplomatic mission to Annex Trine, you say? Well, I suppose that does take precedence. But should your meeting with Vidofnir happen to end early, you might consider rendezvousing with Ishtola in Idleshire. She'll be there to receive our guest. But don't get me wrong, your meeting with the dragons is terribly important and everything, but this scholar just happens to be... Time permitting, as I said. We shall endeavor to join Ishtola, but if we cannot, pray pass on our regards. Let us be off, Lorelai. We have kept the first commander waiting long enough. You are ready then? Good. So am I. The path is long, but known to us. From Falcon's Nest, we shall cross the Western Highlands and make for Tailfeather in the Dravonian Forelands. There we can stop to rest and replenish our supplies. Questions? If not, then the stables await. Okay, we do have add time, um, and I do need to use the restroom, so I'm going to take a little breaky break. <gasps> Excuse me. We take a breaky break, and then I get back and we'll do more MSKU. Anyway, yes, I'll be back. <laughs> um, everyone do your self-care stuff. Make sure that you get some hydration. I need to get another drink because I finished my coffee also. So it's perfect time for a break. Get a little stretch in all the good things. And I'll be back. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate you all very, very much.
Hello. I'm back. Welcome back, everyone. River, welcome back. <laughs> Regular amount of chaos. Yes. We are alive. Regular amount of chaos. Welcome back. Thank you for the welcome back. Missed Cafe being thirsty and their little companion being a cute little guy and dancing during serious combos. Those are the <laughs> so a normal cafe stream, please. <laughs> Not the normal cafe stream. Also, hello, Tiff. I hope that you're having a, a, a good day. Thank you for the quiet hello in your daily fish. Please be sure to stay hydrated and take care of yourself. I need to write down these river fish before I get back to it. Thank you for fishing. Giant Trevally. Namazoo. Tilapia. Tilapia. Okay, where did God a tilapia? Bob Goblin Bass. Goblin D's. I mean, what? And then lava eel. You already have. Okay. I'm caught up. <gasps> when the river fishes, but the fish is in the river? Holy smokes. <laughs> Holy smokeronies. Oh wait, I forgot to use this. <laughs> I forgot to use our new command earlier. I forgot. I should have used that. <laughs> <laughs> I always imagined that the first time I set foot upon Dravanian soil would be at the head of an army. And here I am ready to treat with the brothers and sisters of mine enemies. Goblin D's delicious cupcakes that my beautiful wife made for me. Am I right? Absolutely. Oh my god, cupcakes sounds so good. The command. <laughs> Do you like it? I figured it was about time we had an Amaric command. And like, what better command for him than me barking for him, you know? And it's just, it just felt right. <laughs> Full well do I know how difficult it can be to set aside the past. Though it was I who first proposed recruiting Azael to our cause, I questioned the wisdom of my words almost as soon as I had uttered them, and for a long time after that. Here was a woman with the blood of innocence on her hands, men, women, children, all slain in the name of the implacable Lady Iceheart. Yet she acknowledged her misdeeds and agreed to join us in common cause. At our side, she fought in service to that greater good, even unto her dying breath. And while that does not absolve her of her sins, I hope that one day she will be remembered not merely as a heretic, but as a misguided soul who dreamt of peace. Oh, Azael. You ask much, Master Alfano, yet who can say that what might come of to pass, should our negotiations bear fruit? Yes, yes, of course. We must press on to Annex Trine if you will follow me. Organic, even. Thank you. I thought so too. <laughs> Cafe is openly barking on Twitch.com. I can no longer hold the Discord, Discord barking incident as blackmail. <laughs> I've embraced it. I have embraced my barking tendencies, River. You can no longer blackmail me about that. I'm embracing it. It's even on my adventurer plate. 
Will bark for Emmerich. It's even right here. I'm I'm fully embracing. Here, I'll make it bigger. Will bark. <laughs> it's true. I will. For those not familiar, what is barking? Uh, it's it's literally it's it is what it sounds like. Um, you know, I don't know if you ever seen. You know how some people, <laughs> some people like simp and they will like bark or meow. That's uh, that's just what I've been doing. Is just, just you know, just a little a woof woof, a, a little bark bark to show how feral I am, basically. I don't know who the first person was that decided to ferally bark for a character they simped over, but... I really felt that. Thou art ever welcome here, friend of Azale. Aw, oh, a bit off near. But this one I do not know. Pray forgive us this unannounced visit, Vidofnir. May I present to you Lucia, first commander of the Temple Knights of Ishgard and our trusted friend. It is an honor to meet you, Vidofnir. I am come as an envoy of Sir Amaric, Lord Commander of the Temple Knights and acting leader of the Holy See. Indeed, you may speak, Knight. For 1,000 years, man and dragon have been locked in an endless cycle of bloodshed and sorrow. To our shame, we long believed your kin to be the architects of this war, but now we know the truth that King Thordon and his Knights Twelve did willfully betray and murder the Great Worm, Ratatosker, shattering the peace between our peoples. For 1,000 years, our leaders conspired to conceal the truth, a truth which was at last laid bare by the Warrior of Light, the Azir Dragoon, and Azale. Alas, a deception so in intricately wrought cannot be undone in a moment, and our people labor to accept the truth. After an eternity of war, who would dare to place, to dream that peace could at last be within our grasp? Yet dream we must, as Azale once did, and we must make that dream a reality as she could not. We humbly beseech you, Vidofnir, join hands with us in friendship once more before the eyes of my people in Ishgard. A most unexpected invitation. I have heard your request, Knight. However, I cannot yet give you mine answer. May I ask why? This matter concerneth my sire. He must needs be consulted. Moreover, the Nath grow bold, even as they did before, and I would not leave my people at the mercy of the swarm. We will Then we will wait. After a thousand years at war, we shall not give up on peace for want of patience. Ha, huh, fear not, knight. Thou shalt have mine answer within thy lifetime. So soon, my humble thanks. I shall bear your words to my lord forthwith until we meet again. Given the circumstances, I would say that went rather well. To be frank, I am surprised our proposal was not rejected outright. Whether aught will come of it remains to be seen, however. Mayhap I should take this opportunity to speak with some of the other dragons. Ah, but you need not wait for me. The return journey holds no fears for me now. Well, if you have no further need of our services, we shall continue on to Charlian. We hope to welcome a scholar who has agreed to aid us in the search for our missing comrades. Then I pray your journey is as swift and uneventful as ours was. And thank you again for sparing the time to assist us even when such grave matters remain unsolved, unresolved. I can think of no graver matter than a thousand year war, one which our friends gave their lives to see ended. 
Suffice it to say, I would willingly make a thousand such, such journeys to ensure that their sacrifice was not in vain. Of that I have no doubt, Master Alfano. I only hope the fates will not hold you to your word. <gasps> Asa, it's time of day, you folks. Maximum painkillers and a prayer to get through my shift. All oh, calamity. I'm wishing you a very easy shift mm. and that you get through it very smoothly. So it would seem we have time to greet the scholar after all. How delightful. I shall be interested to know how she means to go about finding Minfilia and Thancred. I can only assume she is privy to some new investigative technique. In any event, our first order of business is to rendezvous with Ashtola in Idleshire. Yeah, I just really hope it goes okay. <gasps> Stola, my beloved! Ah, Lorelai, tis good to see you. I confess I had assumed your business in Annex Trine would detain you longer. Did your meeting with Vidofnir go well? As well as can be expected, she must discuss Sir Emmerich's proposal with Freysbulgar, of course, but she seemed amenable to the suggestion. What of our Charlian guest? Has she arrived yet? She has, but when I explained that you would be joining us, she asked if she might use the intervening time to explore. I agreed to meet her outside on Front Bridge. We should be on our way. Yes, you're allowed breaks. Don't overdo it. Take care of yourself. Oh, what is that mount? Ooh, this mount is cool. You have a cool mount. Only two and a half hours left and you're on your last break, but both your legs have gone completely numb. Oh, fair to assume it's a bad symptom day. Oh, Calamity, I'm so sorry. May the body be kind to you and stop hurting so much. Cryo, I'm terribly, terribly sorry to have kept you all waiting. Oh, Cryo, she's so cute. Yes, this area is very pretty, I agree. Trial. Cutie patootie. We do not apologize. We arrived but a moment ago ourselves. Pray, allow me to introduce Kryl, who has recently come from the Charlian motherland. She has generously offered to assist us. Oh, please, think nothing of it. A trip to Eorzea was long overdue. You must be the warrior of light. Yes, you certainly do look the part. <laughs> A pleasure to meet you at last, miss. And who is that I spy but young Alpha No Levy you himself? I dare say someone's grown an ill or two in my absence. Or are those lifts in your boots? <gasps> Bro. We, um... <coughs> Welcome back, Miss Phoenix. Miss and I met at the studium years ago. I shall forever be indebted to her for her sage guidance. Miss the date? Oh, I think th I don't think the date is for a while. If you mean my my uh my dinner date with Amrick, I don't think it's for a while. I can't remember which quest that was, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty far in here. It was no small task keeping him out of trouble. Believe you me. The youngest ever to enter the studium, him and his sister, 11-year-old prodigies. 
Suffice it to say, social graces were not among his list of talents. Striding up to his seniors on his first day, head held high. What was it he said again? Thank you, Kryle. <laughs> For what? I haven't finished yet. Would you care to attempt a more dexterous deflection? Ahem. <clears throat> Mayhap we should save this delightful conversation for a more fitting occasion, when pressing matters do not demand our undivided attention. A bit much, but better. I can tell you have been putting your skills to use here in Eorzea. Henceforth, I trust you will dazzle me with your eloquence at the first time of asking. Right, on to more pressing matters. Finding Minfilia and the other missing scions. I gather you have new information to share with us. A new approach, actually. Tataru recounted the tale of your escape, and it gave me an idea. Simply put, assuming Thancred left some manner of trail when you whisked him away, as is almost always the case with teleportation magics, I am confident I can find and follow it. Then what are you waiting for? The wherewithal to do it. The fact is, my abilities aren't quite up to the task. Not in themselves, anyway. If I had Master Matoya's crystal eye, on the other hand... Then let us all call on her forthwith. I think it best that you explain your plan to her in person. Master Matoya... Goom Goom Phoenix, I hope you have a good rest of your day. Please be sure to take care of yourself and stay hydrated and all the good stuff. And thank you for hanging out. See how many fish I'm up to. I just thought about it. 279. Not bad. Take care of yourself, Chris. I will do my best. I will do my best. Thank you. You as well. Uno reversing the Uno reverse. You did say we were headed for a cave, did you not? Because I certainly don't see a cave nearby. Is Master Matoya meeting us on our way or something? I have heard many stories of Master Matoya, some quite flattering, others less so. Rest assured they are all true, this way, and have care what you tread, where you tread. I like this little area by Matoya's cave. These little patches of flowers, so pretty.
Oh. Is that trouble I smell? Or did you forget to wipe your boots on the way in? <laughs> Matoya. Forgive us, Master Matoya. We will be sure to wipe them on the way out. And may I say how glad I am that age has not yet deprived you of your senses. <laughs> Ever so quick-witted, aren't we? To the detriment of your manners. Well, out with it then. What do you want? Pray, allow me to introduce myself, Master Matoya. I am Kryle, of the students of Baldessian. I hope you will excuse our unannounced visit. Baldessian, you say? Ah, oh, yes. The old coot set up shop on the Isle of Val, didn't he? Regrettably, our order's headquarters and the Isle itself were obliterated by a magic of immense power. I have the blessing of light to thank for my own preservation. Cryo, you too possess the Echo. Well, yes, of course I do. <laughs> of course she does. Hello. Our order is devoted to uncovering the mysteries of Hydaelyn and interpreting her will, particularly through the study of her gift to us. It was in the course of these studies that I met and subsequently befriended Minfilia. She and I have rather a lot in common. I had no idea. You weren't supposed to. Not that I wanted to deceive you, you understand. But precautions had to be taken. Yes, yes, that's all well and good. But you still haven't told me why you're here. The students of Baldessian are gone. And there is naught I can do to change that. But the signs of the Seventh Dawn can yet be restored, and my dear friend found. You have in your possession an ancient crystal of light, one you call your crystal eye. I believe I can use it to focus my abilities and locate one of the missing scions. And there I was, thinking you might want to make use of my years of experience. Oh, wait here. Long did I ponder the nature of this crystal and its familiar radiance, but never did I suspect it was a crystal of light. On the cusp of an umbral calamity, Souls blessed with the power of the Echo invariably appear. To aid these, her chosen warriors, Hydaelyn bequeaths to each a slither of her strength in the form of a crystal of light. But as her strength wanes, so too does the potency of her gifts. This crystal, born of an earlier era, is infused with a power far greater than those of this age. You could travel the length and breadth of the land and not find a crystal even a fraction as pure. Its value is beyond measure, as are the risks inherent in its use. No two manifestations of the Echo are alike. I, for example, can converse with beings of every shape and size, excepting beasts, contrary to what others would have you believe. Language has nothing to do with it, of course. Rather, I am sensitive to the whispers of the soul, their intent, their very essence even, the traces of which serve to guide the elementals to Yishtola. Welcome back, Soju. Far-fetched though it may sound, I believe that with your crystal eye, I may be able to pick up where they left off and follow the remaining trail to Thancred. That is, if I have your permission. Well, the poor sod's not going to find himself. So, as long as you don't drop it or take it out of my sight, you may do with it what you will. Thank you, Master Matoya.
Then let us begin. Ooh, a tuning. From the Black Shroud, the trail continues to the north and west, towards a mountain, the foot of Som Ul. It was a near thing, but he was not deposited within the rock. I think. The hunters of Tailfeather know those lands well. I say we begin our search there. Oh, hello. It is pouring down rain, holy shit. Ew, it's fucking dust storming. I almost threw right past him. 
Were I to find myself in an unfamiliar wilderness, my first instinct would be to seek out signs of civilization. Ordinarily, perhaps, but in his wounded state, he may not have wished to risk contact with strangers of unknown allegiance. Yet even had Thancred chosen to remain in the forest, the hunters would surely have stumbled across his trail. Tailfeather doesn't strike me as an isolated outpost, though. Merchants and traders pass through reasonably regularly, do they not? In which case, we'll need to provide a more detailed description when we question the locals. Fear not, Kryl. I've already prepared several sketches of Thancred for that very purpose. This... This is impressive. You drew him from memory? A skill I required some years ago for reasons I no longer remember. Alfie the Artiste. I propose we split into two pairs. Ashola and I will inquire at the outlying encampments while Lorelei and Kryle question the residents of Tailfeather. Afterwards, we shall regroup near Loth Astva and share our findings. Assuming there are no objections, let us be about it. My, he certainly has matured, hasn't he? Hard to imagine he was once a boy who practiced drawing for hours to impress young ladies. <laughs> I love that Kryle's just like, you know what, I'll tell you the reason why he learned to draw. It was to impress the ladies. Good for him. Anyway, we had best get started. Find me when you're finished uh, making your rounds. Congratulations on the koala camp, and thank you for lurking, River. Please get some rest. Get some rest. Koala camp. Searching for a friend of yours, so let's have a look then. Hmm. No, I ain't seen him around, sorry. Oh wait, yeah, we can look at it. Can't we? No. Can only link it. I want to see the Alfie sketch. you got there a sketch Yee. hmm can't say I know the face you say he's something of a warrior hmm I heard a tale the other day about a Huron vag vagabond who brought down a bandersnatch by himself and with style the way they tell it he was dancing with the beast like it was the bell of the bleeding ball Sound like your man? Yeah, that does sound like Thancred, all right. 
Holy shit. <gasps> what mount is that? I've never seen that mount before. That's so cool. Oh, and the new variant dungeon? I hate it here. Why is everything I want end game? Uh... Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine, it's fine. <laughs> oh shit, of course it is. A Heron man? We're not exactly rare, you know? Could you be more specific? I did spy this one bloke a while back. Uh, didn't get a good look at his face, but it could have been him. This was beyond the forest, as I recall, along the river to the west of Tailfeather. I remember thinking he wasn't much of a hunter. The lad was making no efforts to cover his tracks. See, that and he was carrying an axe instead of a bow. Man, I need to speed run my ass to Endwalker. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm not gonna speed run. I'm taking my time. It's okay, it's not going anywhere. Oh my god, look at this baby chick over here. Baby chick is having the time of its life. She's fast as fuck. Finished? In that case, I think we've learned everything we can here. Let's see what the others have found out. Damn, look at him go. Holy shit. Speed demon. I hope in, um... I hope in Dawn Trail we get another really cool fishing mount. That would be cool. I would like another mount from fishing. Yoshi P, if you're listening. I know Japan Fan Fest is about to happen, so if you're listening and you'd like to like give a little peek at a, a new fishing mount, that'd be pretty cool. My apologies for our late arrival. We thought it wise to question as many hunters as we could. Many have made camp in inaccessible locations, ideal for game hunting, not so receiving visitors. Nevertheless, our time proved well spent. There have been countless sightings of an exceptionally capable Huron hunter with whom no one is familiar. Though none chance to see the man's face, his height and build match Thancred's description, as does his fighting prowess. So you have heard the same tales. Be that as it may, we yet want for conclusive proof. Mayhap this is unrelated, but I heard a curious tale regarding a vast traitor. He came to Tailfeather in search of garments fit for a man of refinement which seemed a rather curious description for one of his kind. You are implying that Thancred sent a vath to market in his stead? Why would he not go himself? Well, if you recall, you yourself emerged from the live stream as naked as your name day. It is a scene I shall never forget. Alfie! <laughs> is it now? <laughs> Ishtol is gonna kick your ass! Well, I was pleased to see you. I mean, it was a simple statement of fact. Uh-huh. It stands to reason that Thancred found himself in the same predicament. Everyone was pleased. Everyone liked that. <laughs> Hi, Max. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> in any case, if he had dealings with the Vath, they should be able to tell us, no? Quite right, Kryle. Quite right. Ba -da -ba. 
Thank you. Well, what are we waiting for? For all we know, Thancred could be waiting for us in Loth Ust Voth. We must go and see the Voth right away. Come along, everyone, come along. Voth, Voth. Sexy salad boost microgreens? Huh? What's named like that? <gasps> a daily or two, perhaps. Perchance a dailies. <gasps> bon Affleck, hello! I hope you're doing well. Thank you for three months. What the heck? I hope you're doing so well. We big fishing, absolutely, always. We daily whaley. Microgreens you're ordering for fresh produce order? Oh my god, why are they called sexy salad boost microgreens? That's um interesting. We're gonna have a good day. Gonna have a good day. I like this energy. I like the energy. Thank you. Oops, that's not what I meant. What gives the most returns, leveling or main scenario? I feel like leveling probably, right? I don't know, let's see. Um, you just get, you get more poetics from MSQ and you get more seals from leveling. Let us level, okay. We shall level. Oh wait, hold on, actually, if we're gonna level, I'm gonna level my pugilist. Let me make sure I don't have any driver's license photos going on over here also. Okay, I think I'm good. All right, leveling. I'm just kidding. Yeah, it's good, but it, it does take a lot of time. Hello, Retro, I hope you're doing well truly understand the nature of consciousness and explain the origin of self-awareness not without breaking our brains probably I would imagine everyone knows the pain of fantasying and looking like you just rolled out of the DMV <laughs> you're so right Pain without love. Pain can't get enough. You know? As Three Days Grace once said. <laughs> Yay, so <did> you. <laughs> you know? <laughs> As Three Days Grace once said. <laughs> I like it rough because I'd rather feel pain than nothing at all. Exactly. Your fave band through middle school? Oh my god, same. I definitely listened to the saddest, most depressing punk rock, pop rock type shit. The famous philosophers, Three Days Grace, hell yeah. I've also se I've seen Three Days Grace in concert, which was oof, oh my god. I saw, um, I went to this when I was in high school, there was this concert that had um, Three Days Grace, Breaking Benjamin, and Seether. And it was so good. It was so good. True emos, yes. I'm dead, I died. I died, it was my first concert ever. 
Love listening. To, yes, I love listening to sad stuff. For sure. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello, Max. <laughs> I was like, that phoenix fucking scared me. Wait, I have something for you. Here you go. Fish. Hee <laughs> hee. Fish. Emo rap, but so good. Ooh, emo rap. Made you feel like a teenager again? Yeah. I know. Whenever, like, one of the bands from my youth pops up on the old shuffle, I, like, feel like I'm being take taken all the way back to being a teenager. Was Pugilist not Monk? Wait. Because I'm at 26. Deep in the Mitski hole yesterday? Oh my gosh. Wait, I'm only level 26. I can't be a monk yet. That's why I'm leveling. <laughs> also, I need to go do my job quest for a rogue because it is at 30. So I can get ninja. Max, you have to make sure you do your Heaven Stern so you can get Ryanosuke here. If you haven't. Because him cute. Oh, yes! Marina and the diamonds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, feed the little baby. So cute. Ah, the DPS queue of pain. We're number seven in the list. Jesus Christ. I guess I can probably fucking get through some more MSQ at that point. Shit. Great hunters, we welcome you once more to Loth Astavoth. What do you seek this day? We seek a man, a man with whom we are told you may have had certain dealings. How curious, the hunters tire of godly sport and pursue mortal prey. No, no, he's not prey, but a friend long missing. Good, good, he is a friend to the Vath as well. One with whom we have traded many times. Truly? And you are s quite certain it was this man. There is no doubt. The fleshling clothed in skins came to us from Psalm All. Lost and weak, he offered meat and hides in trade. And in exchange, we tended his wounds. We brought us much He brought us much flesh, so skilled a hunter he was. Much flesh. When he asked for garments, we were glad to provide them. And where is he now? Gone to Loth Asnath, not long ago, when he heard the One Mind had summoned our god once more. Ravana is returned? But Ophnir did say that the Nath had grown as before, but what could Thancred hope to accomplish by himself? Honored Elder, we thank you for your help. Would that we could repay this kindness ere we depart, but we must hasten to our comrade's side. Go, great hunters, lest the Nath claim him as a sacrifice. <gasps> Done all your leveling until Dawn Trail? Oh my god. Wow, so just so exciting. Oh yes, tomes. Catches you off guard when people just have classes and not jobs, I know. But like, you have to level to get to the, the job, you know? And also, I'm not really uh, very concerned with pugilist or ninja or samurai or thaumaturge or machinist or bard. I'm just leveling them to have them leveled. They're not my fave. Oh, <gasps> electric pony. Does it ever explain how Thinker gets around so quick since he can't use Etherite? I don't, I don't know. He's just fast as fuck, I guess. <laughs> ah, it's a 
quiet. Okay, I'm gonna wait because we're like number one in queue now. <gasps> Welcome back, River. Hello. Also leveling just to level for the third time. I know, Max, please. The third time, holy shit. Wild. <laughs> Hello. Oh, look at your little chocobo. Oh, the little black chocobo. Are you trying to see the beans? Little beans. I love the toe beans. The baby beans. Damn, it says we're number one, but it, where is the queue? Ooh, also look the moon. The stars, the sky is, it's clearing up. Wow. Clear skies. All right, I'm gonna run our ads before we get in this dungeon because they are, it is just about ad time. So I'm gonna go ahead and run some ads. Thank y'all for bearing with them. It is appreciated. You know, this queue's really gonna wait, huh? <laughs> Except for blue- Oh! No blue mage again! Uh-oh. The queue! Finally. And the ad is almost done. Ads are almost done. <laughs> Raises a hand, River. You're so cute. If I have a question about being a mod, do I put that in streaming resources? Uh, yeah, you can put it in streaming resources. Or tech help, either one. Advice for a baby mod. Me. Yes, you can put it in whichever one. I forgot I'm not healing. I was about to throw 
my dot on, but I'm not healing. I'm paunching. Paunch. Cheering them all. I didn't mean to cheer on the cowboy. I was just looking at his adventure plate. <gasps> Someone wants to make you a mod. I mean, you know, they would. That's understandable. They'd be lucky to have you as a mod. No, you. <laughs> Know you, know you. Yeah, I hope it goes okay. Yeah. You got this. No worries. I'm just fucking walking. I guess I could be paunching. Stabby stabu. Photos. Bob. Wait, it glitched out. It was still on my hand. That's so funny. <laughs> we cheer to the rhythm. Oh my god, I didn't eat.
Yay! <laughs> We're doing great, everybody! You can't even see me. I have become one with the slime. Leveled up at the same time. That's so cute. Oh, the river fishing. Thank you for fishing. Punch. Damn, those dogs are barking out there. Nobody else will grab it all. Grab it. I'll grab the loot. It's free company seals, baby. know what to spend them on. <laughs> That's fair. After I get like the the emotes and the um orchestron rolls, I usually just spend them on ventures for my retainer. Is a received a calm I bet it was the cat boy noise 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 okay I'm oh 29 so close so close all right what other whatever what other things you want to do max you said just a couple right oh you disappear now okay goodbye <laughs> thank you for leveling Thanking you for the level. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. Yes, take care, Max. Oh my god. Did 
Jeez Louise. Oh my god. Can I get my shit together first before y'all come after me like that? Shit. Everything wants my ass. What else is trying to find me right now? Oh my god. Can we not? Get Fuck off! Earth Spire. Jesus. Jeez Louise. Thancred. It could be Thancred. We must hurry. This is Thancred. But it's not just Thancred. It's these people that I don't know. Damn, Arbert, fuck it up. Here we go. This day, we reclaim the reins of history. This day, we rid ourselves of the Asians forever. Fools playing at heroes, all of you. Is this how you believe you can save your world? We can and we will, Asian. You shall see. Or perhaps you will not! So you are the warrior of light. The savior of Eorzea. It's a wonder you didn't come sooner, what with the primal and all. Lost a step, have we? Have care. The ether moves strangely around him. It would seem we share a common enemy. Mayhap you would tell us who you are. Shall we show them? Supposed to be organizing the fridge and saturating all of them. <laughs> you know what? That's okay. Treat yourself. Nothing wrong with that. Gotta eat food, yes, please. 
please eat. Open the fridge, sat on the floor, and opened the bag. <laughs> Fuck. Oh shit. Oh shit. Who's that? Who that, who that, who that boy? Think red, you're looking a little rough with that rat tail, my guy. <laughs> Not the rat tail. Very sporting of you to interrupt, but so be it. Thank Mark well our faces, warrior of light, for we are the warriors of darkness, walkers of a different path, and we shall meet again. Warriors of Darkness? Really? Thancred, are you all right? Pleasantries can wait. I'd rather not be here when the Nath arrive. Agreed? Agreed. Suffice it to say, our reunion was not at all as I pictured it. Waiting until the last instant to join the fray. Tis plain you have not lost your appetite for the dramatic. <laughs> My appetite for the dramatic? Have you forgotten the circumstances of our party? The heroic last stand, the tunnel filling with light, and then... Oh, had I known you intended to use forbidden magics to deliver me to some god's forsaken wilderness, I would have thanked you in advance. <laughs> Thank Rid. If nothing else, you might have warned me that I would emerge from the <laughs> live stream in the altogether. The conveniently police little rodent. It's so funny. <laughs> Eventually, I managed to fashion <laughs> knives from some obsidian I found and set about hunting for meat and hides. <laughs> Is hiding his bum bum. Given that I'm not all that skilled in leatherworking, it's probably for the best that I met the Vath before I was reunited with you. It's 
So you were the fleshling clothed in skins of whom the storyteller spoke. A description which fit me as ill as the skins themselves. Happily, I was able to trade with the Vath for garments better becoming a man of refinement. From them, I learned of Ravana, and of the great warrior who had once laid him low. And thence did you conclude that were you to track the Primal's movements, it would surely bring you into contact with the Scions once more. It seemed a reasonable assumption. I could think of no one else with your enthusiasm for slaying beastmen gods. Until now, that is. Ah, yes. The self-proclaimed warriors of darkness. It is only fitting that they stand in opposition to the warrior of light, I suppose. I glimpsed the leaders past, if only for a moment. They were confronting a man in black. An Asian, I think. If these warriors are capable of doing battle with Asians and Primals both, they must be possessed of powerful protection. Protection not unlike the Echo. Catboy in the Hien outfit right now. Blessed with the power of the Echo and driven to put down Primals, despite his declaration that they walk a different path, I struggle to see how their goals conflict with ours. Nor is that the only oddity. I find it passing strange that such excep exceptional individuals should have wholly escaped our notice until now. Surely we would have heard rumors and attempted to recruit them to our cause. I recall no such adventurers, and I would not soon forget their like, nor would any of us, I think. One of our primary duties was to scour the city-states for promising candidates, which is how I found Lorelei. Ah, the memories. It seems... <laughs> ah, the memories. <laughs> it seems the only... Yeah, the, uh, I can't fucking read today. It seems like only yesterday that you slew your first primal. Speaking of which, I had the distinct impression that it was not the first time that band of merry men and women had killed a god. I labor to believe that a band of pre preternaturally gifted adventurers has been traveling the land, slaying primals without our knowledge, which would imply gross negligence on our part. Speculation will avail us not. There is far too much we do not know. For the present, we must needs concentrate on what we do know, namely that Lord Ravana is no more. Vidofnir must be informed. The news may render her more receptive to, receptive to Sir Amaric's invitation. Since you seem to have affairs here well in hand, I shall take my leave. Simply being in the vicinity of this colony is giving me a stinking headache. If you have need of me, I shall be with Master Matoya. I would beg her assistance with the search for Minfilia. Wait, Minfilia is missing? I thought she escaped with Lorelai. I shall explain on the road. Much has happened in your absence.
I had not thought to see thee again so soon, mortal. If thou seekest the night, know that she hath long since departed for Ishgard. My thanks, Vidofnir, but it was not for her that we came. We bring good tidings for you and yours. Lord Ravana, who had been summoned by the Nath, has again been laid low. Truly? Once more you mortals have succeeded where mine own kind did fail. You have our deepest thanks. Would that we could take credit. The god fell by another's hand. Another. Revelation upon revelation. Regardless, it is cause for celebration. The Nath will have no choice but to withdraw. But to another matter, I have tidings for thee as well. Regarding the Ishgardian's invitation? As promised, I brought the matter to my sire. Hearken to his answer now. For a thousand years have I mourned my beloved, who gave her life to forge a peace thy king betrayed. Such was my lot until a child of Ishgard came unto me. For want of warmth, she wrapped herself in a dream, yet the world will remember her deeds. For truth, she fought, for justice, she sinned, for redemption, she sacrificed and became his light. To follow one's heart, to have faith in one's convictions, be it for weal or be it for woe, such is the folly and the glory of man and of dragon. He hath entrusted the choice to us, and we have made it. We will keep faith with you who walk in the light. Then you accept Sir Amory's invitation. Let it be known that I, Vidofnir, shall travel unto Ishgard on behalf of my people. We are honored to receive your answer and will convey your words to our allies without delay. <gasps> Ooh, a tuna sandwich. That sounds so good. Thank you for eating. It is happening, Azale. Would that you were here to see it. <laughs> it's my man. Even as the Scion celebrated the return of a long lost friend, honorable men plotted to deprive them of another. No! You stay away from my man! Honorable men, to whom Sir Emmerich was no hero but a scheming patricide. I can't believe he stabbed my man! I'll kill him. Honorable men, who would fain wash the paving stones of foundation with the tyrant's blood. Honorable men, whose knife in the dark was the spark which set the city aflame, and who sang as it burned. <laughs> woof, woof. Emmerich. But it was a sad Emmerich scene. Tim got stabbed. I do not want him to be stabbed. Ooh, augmented. What is this? Oh, wow. <laughs> That's truly something. Whoa, chocobo head. <laughs> Holy shit, I was not expecting that. Bee head. Now, what's going on over here? Hello? <laughs> 
What's uh what's going on over there? It's a bit it's a bit uh a bit cold outside, huh guys? A bit cold for these fits. But like more power to you. Sickust busty. Wait a minute. Right, let us not keep Sir Amrick waiting. <laughs> Pose don't get cold. You're so right. You're so right. Are you quite well, Thancred? Yes, yes, quite well. Forgive me. You have given me rather a lot to digest. This whole affair with the Ishgardians and the Dravanians and our friends nowhere to be found. Twould seem there is no end to our troubles. We can but face them head on one at a time. For now we must apply ourselves to our allotted tasks and leave the others to theirs. Remember, Thancred, we found you as they found me. In time we will find Ida and Papalimo and Menphilia as well. These troubles will soon be but a memory, one which we will look back on together. Pray do not misunderstand. I did not mean to imply that it would be otherwise. I merely wish that I had rejoined our grand adventure at one of its more triumphal moments. Despite your recent accomplishments, the mood here is less than celebratory. But I have no doubt that we will enjoy many more glorious victories soon enough, and you may rest assured that I will play my part in them to the very hilt. <gasps> Hi, ghoul. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for your daily fish. I know you will. So then, to the congregation. You have returned. In this, at least, the fates are kind. Greetings, First Commander. It pleases me to inform you that Vidofnir has accepted Sir Amaric's invitation. She has? These are glad tidings indeed. Would that the Lord Commander were here to hear them. Ah, is he otherwise engaged? Hi, sleeping off a knife to the gut. What? What happened? Will he live? The Chirurgians tell me he will make a full recovery, but had Lord Edmont and Lord Artuarel not been on hand when the assassin struck, he would not have been so fortunate. For a mercy, they subdued the fiend before he could land the telling blow. The attack was just the beginning, though. Not long after, buildings all around the city, including several of ours, burst into flame. Bastards caught us completely by surprise. We've been doused in the fires, but for every one we put out, it seems like two more start up. Casualties are mountain, especially in the room. Tis plain these fires were started by the assassin's conspirators. Until they have been routed up, there will be no end to this. Will you help us find them? Then let us be about it. Amaric, my beloved! I will smooch your wounds so you will not be in pain anymore. The flames are spreading. We must needs begin our investigation immediately. Witnesses must be found. Suspects must be identified. Have you been able to determine the precise locations where the fires were set? Mayhap there is a pattern. If there is, we have yet to discern it. Fires have been reported throughout the city in both the pillars and foundation. Indeed, given the size of the area affected, I think it best to divide our forces. Master Alfano and Mistress Ishtola, I would have you take charge of the investigation and foundation. As you wish, mayhap Tataru can be of assistance as well. 
Me and Lorelai and me get the pillars. Oh, they'll like me up there. Only question is, will the gris grizzled old rogue strike and oppose over there be joining us? <laughs> Thancred of the Signs of the Seventh Dawn. And may I say what a pleasure it is to meet you too, my lady. I'll bet. <laughs> I love Hilda. The name's Hilda, a scion, eh? And there I was thinking I'd found a fellow ruffian amongst all these illustrious personages. I will remain here to coordinate the fire quenching effort. If you learn aught of value, pray inform me immediately. That is all. <laughs> so silly. While we could begin by sifting through charred rubble and questioning random passerbys, in my experience, every town has at least one indiv individual who can be counted on to know things he or she should not. Oh, I, the infamous Lord of Manalena de Fortome, lover of women and wine. Though neither care for him that much, they say he could gossip for Ishgard. Just the sort of fellow I had in mind. Capital suggestion, Lorelei. He'll be at the Crozier, most like, making an effort to be seen, so let's go and see him. Grizzled, I will accept, but old? <laughs> Oh, Sancred. You are looking a little... A little rough, a little worse for wear there. So can you really... Blame her for thinking you're... An oldie, you know? I don't think you can. Okie dokie. I am going to be wrapping up now. Unfortunately. Oh, my music. It was too quiet. Thank you all so much for hanging out today. I appreciate you very much. Thank y'all for dealing with the, uh... Uh, whatchamacallit? <laughs> what word am I looking for? Oh, technical difficulties. Thank y'all for dealing with the technical difficulties. I appreciate it very much. Um, I will be getting a regular schedule out tomorrow. If we all fish right this minute, Cafe will be forced to stay for, like... 30 extra minutes. <laughs> you think it's gonna take me 30 minutes to write down everyone's fish? That's wild. <laughs> I will miss you too, River. <laughs> I'll miss you too, River. If that's what you're trying to say. If that was just a way of you saying that you mi you'll you miss me. Ditto. We keep interrupting. <laughs> true, true. Ah, jeez. Y'all are really fucking doing it, huh? Okay, it can't be another half hour though, because then I'll have to run ads. So it can't be another half hour. Maybe. Please. You're so silly, silly, goofy cuties. Oh my god, thank you for fishing. Okay, I will write these down. I already know who we're rating today, so it's okay. Because I, I looked already. So I suppose y'all are allowed to keep me here with some fish. Sea butterfly. Silly goofy goobers. I could always end and record. 
record it after just to stick it to everyone. <laughs> Damn, Ghoul's trying to uh, conspire against you. That's so silly. What is a fat snook? Wait, what? Which one is that? Oh, fat snook. Okay, I'm gonna look it up. Fat snook. Fish. Image. Fat snook. A king among fat snook and lord of the waters of unmoved source alpha. Oh no, that's the jumbo snook. Where's the regular one? He just looks like a regular fish. He's kind of brown. He's like a, a brown goldy little fish looking guy. Nothing too fun or fancy. Giant snook. Man, scrolling through all of these is truly something nowadays. Holy. Alright. Football fish. <gasps> Bear face. Nice. Lionfish. Fat sooth. Fat snook. Not sooth. Fat snook. And a pike. All right, thank y'all for fishing. Just the devil's advocate. The devil doesn't need advocates. He's fine. <laughs> Didn't expect anyone to fish. <laughs> I'm not gonna kink shame. Huh? Huh? <gasps> Your transition. Hmm? Oh, <laughs> okay. We we're gonna raid the lovely Prism Heart today, aka Bon. She, her pronouns. She's playing Persona 4 Golden, which is one of my all time favorites. Persona 4 is one of my all time favorite games and series. Very cute and exciting. But thank you all for hanging out today. Thank y'all for um, wanting me to stick around. So you did some fish. That's very cute. I adore you all very much and care you very much. Um, there are the raid messages. <laughs> thank you for being here. Listen, I'll stay overtime anytime. All right. 
Really. It's not that I ever want to leave you all. Trust me. If I had the spoons to be live even more than I already am, I would be. Because I love hanging out just as much. But yes, big extra shout out to my mods for being lovely and wonderful. Um, there are raid calls. We're going to raid the lovely Bon. Um, I will be off tomorrow. And then we should be back on our regular- Oh, shit. We should be back on our regularly scheduled programming schedule. Um, so I'll be putting out a schedule tomorrow on Discord and on Twitter and stuff. And we'll go back into Coral Island and Final Fanta more Final Fantasy. And then it's looking like our first new game of the year is going to be Dredge. Exciting, but also scary because I hear that it's, it's kind of scary a little bit. So we'll see. But yes, I appreciate you all. Thank you all for hanging out. Um, especially with all the technical difficulties we had at the beginning. I appreciate you all tremendously. Everyone, please take care of yourselves. Be kind to yourselves. Have a wonderful rest of your time zone. Rest up. Have a good weekend. Do some things that you enjoy. Eat some good food. All the good stuff. Hopefully I'll be able to fix my uh, VTuber. If not, I mean, you know, we'll figure it out. It'll be fine. Little PNG tuber is cute too. But yeah, okay. I'll see you next time. Thank you all so much for hanging out. I appreciate you. Take care. Have a good weekend. I will see you probably sun Sunday next. Okay. Goodbye. Say hello to Bon for me.